wish that I could wave a magic wand to show you what the difference would be. Presto, like that. Why, it does work. You will be prettier. You will be more popular. I'm just so happy that, that ADI exists. It's a wonderful, wonderful addition to the area. When I walked in here, I thought, oh, this feels good. This feels, I love, because it's a good, nice size stage, but an intimate house. And so for my kind of work, when you, with, when you have this language that we're not having to mic it so much, you feel a real connection, the dancers feel a real connection to the audience. My name is David Dorfman and I'm Artistic Director for David Dorfman Dance. I would recommend any dance lover and any dance company to run, don't walk, <laughs> to ADI. being available, we're storytelling, but hopefully in an innovative way. And so I think uh, ADI can, um, with merit, wear the badge of uh, progressive, innovative, against the grain in a very positive way. so glad to get almost the whole audience dancing on stage with us and I think that can serve as a metaphor for ADI is that um, from being known perhaps as a you know, ballet studio and other kinds of, uh, of a performance venue, now it's elusive, come and dance, come and rehearse, come and see great art from uh, local artists and visiting artists and participate yourself as an active audience. So I think it already has this reputation. I think the reputation is only going to grow as a progressive presenter, as a mecca, as a center for uh, dance in the D.C. area. My name is Dana Wright, and I just performed at ADI with Sarah Rudner and um, Jennifer Tipton, the lighting designer, and the three of us uh, made this work together many years ago called Necessary Weather. And so we're delighted to bring it to Washington. Great a a attitude, great atmosphere. And when I came, everybody here had the same kind of way of handling things, which was, what do you need? Let's do it and figure it out. And um, it's a great team effort, I think. And for us, it's wonderful to walk into a venue like that where the crew is happy to be there, the staff's happy to be there, and they do it. <laughs> Actually, it worked really, really well. Really, the, the depth and the width are very elegant. The height is a little um, lower than usual for a lighting grid, but we made it work quite well. And um, <clears throat> just has a very good feeling to that, that theater space, frankly. My name is Sarah Rudner, and I am a dancer and choreographer and a teacher. It makes a big difference to be with people who are understanding of what it is to perform, um, people who are attentive, people who help you uh, in the practical things as well as the artistic things. Uh, this is a rare experience and it's been a um, very heartfelt experience too. I'm one of the two choreographers in the Two Othellos program. We came down here for the world premiere of our our take on Othello, which is a piece called Moortown Redux. 
um, and it's done to a mashup and a mixture of uh, songs from the Motown songbook, Amy Winehouse, James Brown, and Otis Redding. And it re-envisions the, the Othello myth uh, as uh, told through the, uh, the idea of a Motown group and its disintegration. <laughs> It's one of my favorite spaces. Uh, I think the theater's great. Uh, it's really wonderful for people who actually want that kind of intimacy in theater, too. It's small enough uh, for the audience to have a really intimate viewing of dance, and the stage is great. I can't complain. And it's, it's a brilliant venue, and it's it's wonderful how much of a vast audience they're building. I can't really speak enough for all the great things they're doing here, bringing in new audiences to see different types of work. Um, I was looking at her program, the range of work, um, from Jennifer Tipton's piece to David Dorfman's work, uh, your resident choreographer, Ron Chow, and the ADI Ballet. Um, it's a broad, broad range, and hopefully exposes a larger audience to all the different ideas of movement, performance, and dance. So um, I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans. <laughs>
Valley ADI is a small, dance uh, ballet company that uh, belong to American Dance Institute. And uh, the mission statement about Ballet ADI is to shorten the gap between the younger upcoming choreographers like myself and the seasoned choreographers. And we work together, we create pieces together, and then give the young dancer of metropolitan area, Washington area, a chance to perform, to shine, and benefit our local audience. I met Doug at uh, his performance a year ago in ADI, the, uh, the production with Ferla Maria. And I was really intrigued with his artistic approach toward that, pro that story that everybody knew. And I was really somewhat intrigued, inspired by it. And it's then we began to talk about artistic approach, choreographic approach to, to arts, and we shared our different background, but also similarities in, ter in terms of how we approach choreography. So we really got along well, and during one of our conversations, and Doug and I basically said to each other, let's do something together. And at that time, that was the beginning of this collaboration. So we went separate ways, and uh, in the, the, the next uh, a year or so, we went on work our own subject, uh, our own choreography, the subject of Othello. So we basically say, you know, you go your way, I go my way, then we meet basically a year later to see what's like. And uh, this is when um, we came to this performance. Actually, it really was really interesting because the criteria was that he has four dancers and I have my four dancers. And Doug and I came from quite a different background. His was modern and mine was ballet. And uh, the challenge was spent between 20 to 30 minutes to just tell the story of Othello, which is really challenging. So we. But when everything put together, it was shocking that some areas, how similar it was and uh, how different it was to, first of all, from the music, because he's using all the Motown music and I'm using Rahmanov, the preludes. But in terms of approach, the emotional impact on the, on the dancers, it was very similar to the point, it was really similar and I was really interested. It was really intriguing to see that, and it was a thrilling experience for me, honestly.